back, back to Europe now, um, Cedric. Um, and it's 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 fair to say it's been a you know buyer's market really for 2020, and 2021 certainly looks like it will start that way. You know, with um, you know good volumes and low prices. But you know, as a big buyer, I mean, what would you like to see from salmon suppliers to sort of win business in this climate, basically? Uh, thank you for your your question, Tom. Um, I think uh, Arild and uh, and Daniel have uh, commented on price, uh, so I will not comment on it. Uh, of course. Uh, we could say a lot of things about uh, currency, about stock, about the balance of, uh, of demand and offer. But I think the point that, uh, that I would like to make is uh, how can we keep together uh, as a full supply chain uh, the new consumers that uh, we've managed to attract. Aril, you were commenting on, uh, on young uh, Spanish uh, consumers, for example. Um, I, I think uh, from our perspective, from uh, Labery Fine Foods perspective, we have a, a strong consumer insight uh, in France, uh, in UK. And uh, I think in your presentation, Tom, you, um, you explained that uh, through uh, 2020, uh, Europe and UK uh, have shown a strong support for uh, Norwegian salmon. I've seen an increased share of, uh, of Norwegian salmon uh, into Europe, uh, for example, due to, uh, to a limitation of, uh, of air freight. And, um, and what uh, consumers are, are, are expecting in, uh, in Europe uh, is, uh, I would say, uh, a fish, uh, salmon, uh, that is raised in, uh, in a specific and sustainable conditions. Um, and those conditions, uh, I think we can offer uh, together uh, by uh, working on the full supply chain uh, from feed manufacturers uh, through uh, salmon farmers, uh, processors and retailers uh, to give to uh, consumers uh, what they will want in 2021. Uh, your question was on 2021, but when we speak about salmon cycle, it's two, three years to grow salmon. And I think what we need to think about is the salmon we are going to sell uh, in uh, 2022 and, uh, and after. Mm -hmm. and, and for that, uh, the, the, the salmon that we are expecting and that uh, European, uh, French, uh, UK consumers is, is, uh, is expecting is a salmon that is good for their own health. Um, We've seen a declining level of omega-3 in salmon for the past five or 10 years. And it's something that uh, we must be able to, uh, to claim and to give to our consumers in the, in the future. Um, we've seen uh, some mistrust uh, in France and in other countries about chemical contaminants. And I think it's something that we need to, uh, to tackle together. Um, our uh, also consumer insight, because um, we are constantly uh, canvassing um, what consumer wants. And we see more and more um, uh, questions around fish welfare, uh, especially around this uh, sea life uh, cruises that we've known for the past four or five years uh, with chemical treatments, physical treatments. Um, there are questions around fish welfare. And uh, it's definitely something that as a full supply chain, we need to tackle together uh, to be able to give some uh, trust back to consumers and again, to keep the, the consumers that we've managed to attract uh, through this uh, this crisis, and uh, and finally, uh, I think environmental impact is key. Uh, it's key for all businesses, but uh, maybe especially in food. Uh, we've seen questions around the impact on uh, on seabed, um, around uh, you know uh, sea life treatments impacting uh, impacting uh, seabed, around uh, the impact of farming salmon uh, for uh, wild fisheries. Uh, I think that's really the kind of questions that uh, consumers are are asking in France and in UK. And what, uh, as a company, La Berry Fine Foods, what we are looking for in the coming years is those kind of partnership uh, for the full supply chain uh, to give answer to, uh, to those questions. Um, there are companies um, discussing carbon footprint. Uh, that will be a key thing that uh, we need to promote uh, for salmon, not only about salmon farming, but for the full chain on, uh, on feed production as well. Uh, when it comes to uh, ingredients in feed uh, that are raised on lands, uh, there are questions around, you know, deforestation when it comes to soya in Brazil, for example, that we need to tackle together as a full supply chain. Um, question as uh, getting uh, marine components of feed that are sustainably um, uh, sourced. Uh, so for us, that's all those challenges that we need to, uh, to tackle together. And I think, as I said at the beginning, uh, Europe, uh, I believe, is a, a key market um, because what we are uh, seeing from consumers in, in Europe 
Um, we believe it's something that will be, you know, all over the world in the coming years. And uh, due to, to the lens of salmon cycle, we need to work on as soon as, uh, as next year to be able to, uh, to offer the fish that consumers will want in the coming five or, or 10 years.